To get from 51 billion tons of greenhouse gas emissions to zero, we need to change the way we make just about everything in the next 30 years. This is the greatest opportunity for innovation in human history. We're gonna build the trillion dollar global industries of tomorrow. Some of the solutions we need, like wind and solar power, are already starting to compete with the fossil fuel incumbents they're designed to replace. But for many of the newer technologies, we need to bring down the cost and demonstrate that they work in real world situations. And so I have to invest in large-scale commercial plants, which are often too risky for traditional investment. We need to innovate not just in the technologies, but in how the public and private sectors come together to build this scale. We've seen this work before with solar energy. But even in that case, it took 50 years to go from powering calculators to powering cities. And we can't afford to wait 50 years. And that's why Breakthrough Energy is launching the Catalyst program to bring the next generation of climate solutions to market in time at a low enough cost to avoid a climate disaster. We're bringing together philanthropists, governments, and leading companies to make bold investments in technologies with great promise, but with a long road to commercial success. These investments won't just help reduce emissions, they'll also create new high-paying jobs for decades to come. The early investors in these technologies will be recognized for their contributions. That's why we're creating Catalyzed Emissions Reduction Framework, which measures the reductions in emissions and the cost of these new technologies over time. This framework will let our funding partners be recognized for the impact of their contributions. The first four technologies we're focusing on are green hydrogen, where we split water molecules and we use the hydrogen for power. Second is long duration energy storage, so we can use intermittent sources like solar, even when the sun isn't shining. Third is sustainable aviation fuel, where we take biological inputs, including municipal waste, and we convert it to replacement jet fuel. Fourth and finally, direct air capture, where we literally take the carbon out of the air and store it away where it'll no longer cause any heating. In science, a catalyst is a substance that accelerates a chemical reaction. Our catalyst program is designed to accelerate the journey of innovation for the technologies we need to avoid a climate disaster. I'm optimistic we can succeed if we act boldly together.